All right, let's try to fix this area quickly. And in order to fix this, we need to check this subheading hero and already spotted the mistake. I think we have given it a fix width of 300, uh, 500 pixels, but we have reduced this width to 350 pixels. So let's reduce this also to 350 pixels. That pushes everything down. The next thing I want to change here is I want to give this a slight padding of 10 pixels on the left hand side so to give some give it some space here and give it some space at the bottom and in order to give some space at the bottom I'm going to give it 20 pixels padding as well. Now this hero heading has too much padding. Let's try to reduce this to 10 pixels as well so they align. And the last thing I think we need to do is we need to change this hero image in itself. Now currently we have set this hero image to 100 view height. The view height of our landscape screen is not very high. If you think about it, you, you have it, it has a long width but a narrow height. And we have too much content in order to put into here for such a narrow view height. So, so I think we need to manually adjust the height of this image and let's set that instead of to 100 view height, set it to 700 pixels and try how that looks like. So I'm going to change that and then I'm going to republish everything. And reload this page and I think this looks already a lot better. There we go, we fixed this. Now the only thing is we need to do something about this set section here. And in order to fix that, I'm going to go back to the designer, select our navbar and then go to navbar settings. And in navbar settings, I can open the menu. And that's going to display it, how it would look like when the menu is opened. And now let's make sure that this is actually white instead of gray. So I'm going to select this nav menu in which these four links are nav nested. And I'm going to give it a class of nav menu or it has a class, but we can change its background color. So let's set that to white and let's try to give it uh, make sure that these links are in the middle. So I'm going to select the navigation link and make set it to align center. I don't know why it didn't work here earlier. I think we might sometimes we have to override sync this webflow. And the other thing what would be nice is maybe if you can create some lines to create some separation between these links. So I'm gonna scroll down and gonna give each of these links a border of one pixel. And there should be some padding right now which we can remove. We set that as a margin, we should remove that too. Actually, we can give them all a bit of margin, just five pixels maybe. And that's going to create some spacing on the left and right hand side for these borders. And now the only thing what we need to adjust here is this nav menu button instead of making it. Okay, yeah, uh, perfect. This seems to have worked right now. Um, let's inspect that again. In order to inspect it, I'm going to publish it again. And reload. No, still we have to set this. Again, I want to keep it white and the background black. 
So let's fix this. I'm going to close this menu. Oh, why is this not working? Open it again. And let's see if we can adjust the stylings now. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to set the background color to white and make sure that the text color is set to black in that displays this icon again. These are some, I don't know if Webflow is functioning perfectly here, but um, now we should have fixed this one as well. Now, the only thing I think we could make this icon a little bit bigger. So I'm going to give it a class of icon. And these icons, you can change the size actually through changing the text size, the font size. So I'm going to set the font size to 20. There we go. This increases. We can even try 40. Oh, this is too, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bit too big. Let's set it to 34 maybe. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's close this again. And publish everything. And now we have a bigger hamburger menu. And if I click on that, this all looks better now. Perfect. Now, I think with that, we have already completed the landscape mode. The last thing left is the mobile portrait mode. In order to change that, let's swap back to the designer.